if the here the button of the microphone works. Okay, I press, need to press a bit stronger, but does work. Fifteen. Hi everyone. Uh, so this is the controller that today we will be checking out this PS5 controller. As you can see, it's totally <laughs> messed up. So I probably will need to buy here some covers if I will be able to fix it. And uh, from other seller, it's saying uh, it says that the issue is uh, with the with the mic. The mic LED is not working. So over over here. So what we will do? Let's try it out and uh, see actually if that is the only issue or if there is something more so first of all we can go here to control panel if i can find it um, okay control panel and then it should appear here in the in devices and printers so let's connect it this is usb 3 c actually not not three uh, and you can see it over there it appears there and let's see here in the properties what is happening so i'll put just here the controller close by to the screen for you to see so you can see that these buttons you can press joysticks seems fine here the arrows as well, everything seems fine. And the back buttons, the left and right buttons. Okay, PlayStation button is working fine. Let's see if the if the here the button of the microphone works. Okay, I pre need to press a bit stronger, but does work. Fifteen. And here the options and so on. Everything works fine. So this seems to be fine. Uh, let's check as well here the the mic i think here is the mic so i probably will need to rip up rip apart here this um the actually the tag of it to be able to check it out so i have here some some headphones let's put it in and let's see if we are getting from the right place the sound from the wireless controller and let's put here some some probably some music here from the from the channel just some it's not moving okay it is and let's it okay you can hear so it seems that actually everything is fine so so seems seems in general the controller is good just the light here for some reason doesn't uh, doesn't appear let's see what what here could be could be the issue so i will be disassembling this i will change the view of camera and i will disassemble all, all of the controller okay so we are back here to the to the table so now let's disassemble all of this if you want like a very quick guide how to disassemble all this controller you can check my other video where i fully disassemble the controller but for this case i guess we just want to reach here over the the button uh, so let's take off this back cover actually is the first one so first it comes off this this part with the pick it should go all the way around and then it should come out then it just need to pull it a bit up be careful with this with these sides over here because they are fitted here in the controller itself and then you have here a couple of screws but to take you need to take these two but as well you have a couple of them over here under the L1 and R1 uh, button so you can try the, with the pick and just fit it there and try to pull it up a little bit go a bit all the way around just to see if it will come out yeah just grab it through over there and careful because it they might pop up sometimes and okay let's see yeah 
and his as you can see just pops up and the other the same actually if you just go through the top maybe it will be easier okay like in this case and here you have a couple of more screws one here and another here and these two like i mentioned before so here you just get the phillips screwdriver and i think this is ph0 and you take it the the screws Okay, screws are out and now just try to lift it all the way and actually just come out like that sometimes it's a bit more difficult than others so it really depends and the back cover comes off and then you have here the battery so let's take it off uh, you can use some some pliers or you can do it by hand just wiggle here a little bit and sh should come out uh, as well then you have here the 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 holder of the battery have here a, a phillips screw so I'll take it off as well okay and here you have the camera the microphone so just pull this ribbon cable out and you can take the the microphone from the slot as well but I, I will take everything let's put here to the side and now we will need to to take everything else so let's take here the ribbon cable on the back so as well here you can use it by hand pull it but since this is, we have very little space I'll use some pliers or you can use some some tweezers and then just comes out just like that or here these ones as well you should take them out over there i will leave it here for for the time being because we just want to, to check this one and here as well this other microphone and they are out and then we should be able to pull this board up if you can try to press here the button as you can see and then it should come back and I see already an issue here not sure if it was now when I was opening or if, if it was already like that but yeah this uh, this wire from the for the rumble it already uh, broke off but it's not a big deal this can be soldered the issue that we have is over here where it is so it's in the other side since goes over here and let's see let's take the joysticks just for better way to view I will not solder all the other rumbles just let's look it to it like this okay seems I see already a couple of issues let's see if it will focus over here now I'll point it to you okay so seems over here is where is the the light the light actually is missing at all and here as well seems it's missing another like some some resistor or condensate I think it is the resistor uh, over here so it's definitely missing a couple of things let's see if nothing felt because uh, nothing fell because I don't hear anything and I'm just trying to see if there is if these parts were here already maybe this controller was already open and and then we don't have it don't have them because I'm not seeing them here at all so okay so the way to fix here this is that we need a couple of one more of these resistor I think it's called resistor basically it's like this but small one if it's not resistor I'll put here the name what what is this um, and here the light itself I'm not sure if I will be able to find to find those this is very very small contacts hmm. I will see if I will be able to find if I can source anything online 
about this. Maybe there will be, but uh, from what I see, nothing we can fix right away. Anyway, it's not a big deal because it's just a light that doesn't doesn't turn on. So the controller is as well functionable. But uh, but there is no light when we press the button because the button itself it's here so it will mute like you could hear in the in the in the video before but we will not be able to we will not be able to to see the light uh, showing and the resistor I think from what I see over here the connection um, is just for the light. Uh, yeah, it seems it's just for the light and doesn't connect to anything else. So maybe actually it's not a big, a very big deal in general. Uh, it will not affect anything else from what I can see. I will see if I can find anything. If not, I will uh, leave it like this. But one thing that we need to do for sure is that we need to replace all this cover, all the all the shell, because I will not leave it like like this definitely. Since everything is working, everything is fine. So. I will I'll replace I'll replace the the mm, this. So I have here already. I'm bought. I think this is it. Yeah, I bought here the the shell for for it for the controller. And uh, let's see if this has the screws. I'm not sure. No, it doesn't have the screws. So I will be able to just to. To replace this right away um, and I should have here the the remaining of the like the buttons because I bought everything I bought the the black one actually and then I bought everything else all, all the buttons uh, so as well the 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 joysticks but maybe I will keep these ones these are not actually that bad and I think the most complicated part that we need to recover the to replace the shell is this part of the sensor of the motion because I think it will be it will be glued so let's let's do a, the the change of it I will probably fast forward everything I will have another video where I do the uh, a guide the tutorial how to how to change the um, here the the shell of the of the control.
and this is it as you can see it's already searching so everything working so how connecting to the computer but here not uh, not uh, any issues uh, with it so i will share with you the um, the um, here and press a bit more actually it was not fully pressed here you need to the only thing that you need to be aware it's uh, if you want to change the buttons itself so at specifically the the l2 and r2 so it's a bit more complicated but if you just want to take the shell apart and replace it with a new one so this is how you do it or the or here the joysticks as well buttons as well as not not hard here these buttons so it's uh, kind of kind of easy just need to be careful inside when it's the main board not twist it around a lot because like you saw these uh, these wires can can uh, can break from the from the board the the solder so hopefully this helped anyone i will put the link as well in the of the of the parts uh, here in the description so if you want to get those they are still a bit expensive but uh, but yeah it's something that you can do by yourself so hopefully this helped anyone please uh, like and subscribe and, and see you in the next one.